In this video, we're going to connect our Android device to the Canon EOS R. If you follow these simple steps, we'll be connected in no time. Firstly, we go to the Google Play Store and locate the Canon Camera Connect app by searching. Click Install and allow it to download. Once this is installed, we can exit the Google Play Store. We then need to look at the options for the Android device and check Wi-Fi. When we go into our Wi-Fi settings for this device, what we now need to do is focus our attention across to the, the EOS R. I'm going to go into the menu for the camera, and on the fifth yellow menu, you'll find wireless communication settings. If we just touch the screen, we're able to change our Wi-Fi settings to enabled. Confirm with a touch. If we go backwards from here, we're able to then come to Wi-Fi function, registering a nickname for our Canon EOS R, and selecting OK. Next, it's going to ask what type of device we're connecting to. I'm going to choose the top left option, which is a smartphone. We're going to register a device for, config, for connection, sorry. Not going to display an Android code there. What's going to happen now is it's going to start broadcasting an SSID or a Wi-Fi signal under the name EOS R-270 Canon OA. This should appear on the Android device, which we can see at the top here. It'll ask us for a passcode, and you'll notice at the bottom of the screen on the EOS, we have a passcode there. This is automatically generated by the phone. And all we've got to do is connect using this particular number that it has given us and press OK. Once you notice the phone has joined the Wi-Fi, we can then navigate to the EOS app, which we downloaded previously, and open. At this stage, it will ask you to agree to the licensing. Once you've done so, you'll get a message on the phone, allowing it to connect to the camera. Please hit allow, and allow one more time. There's an introduction to the Camera Connect app. If you wish to skip these instructions, please click skip at the bottom right hand corner. Once you're in the app, you'll notice that the phone has automatically detected the camera. All we need to do now is confirm that we have the right camera by clicking on it. Over to the camera, it'll now say, would you like to configure to this smartphone? We do need to select OK. Once this is completed, our connection will be established and we'll be able to start using the Canon Connect app on the phone. So to have a look at the phone app for a moment, we really have two basic options here. Firstly, we can use the live shooting function, which detects all of the settings and information from the camera and allows us to also adjust those settings such as shutter speed or aperture. We can take photos from the phone, which will automatically trigger the camera into taking that image. That image is then saved on the SD card in the camera and we have the option later to download it to the phone. The beauty about using this live shooting function is we can select our focus points simply by moving our finger around the screen and then confirming to take the image once we're ready. If we would like to change any of the settings such as autofocus points, exposure compensation, aperture priority, uh, shutter speed and of course ISO, we can do all of this from the phone app. We can also select to select videos, which will put the camera into video shooting mode. And we also then once again have the options to change the level of recording, such as 4K, HD, or full HD. Again, we have the option to change shutter speed, aperture, ISO. Coming back out of the shoot modes, you'll also notice that you can look at the images that are currently on the camera. If you wish to download an image, for example, select that image and then use the download icon at the bottom. It will ask you whether you would like to reduce the size of that image or retain its full value and download. That image then comes down to your phone and is stored into your phone's photo timeline. To disconnect the system, you can either turn the Wi-Fi off on the phone or come to the camera, select menu, wireless communications, Wi-Fi settings and disable. 
and that is how we connect our EOS R to an Android device.